Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in today's video I'm going to be covering the replace method within JavaScript. Okay, so uh, the reason why I'm doing uh, this video is because the string replace method is actually a lot more powerful uh, than you may think. Okay, so um, of course you can use it to do simple string to string replacements. However, uh, this method also supports regular expressions um, and also functions to transform the replacement value. So I'm going to be covering different ways to use this method in today's video. Uh, let's start with the most basic example. So inside the text editor, I've got this string right here. Hey, I'm 25 and she's 31. So uh, let's replace the and with an ampersand instead. So down here we can say console.log and pass through here my string dot replace, then pass through here and as the search value, then ampersand as the replacement. Okay, so this will then uh, look for the first occurrence of an and and replace it with the ampersand. So now saving this and refreshing, we can see right here we get, hey, I'm 25 ampersand, she's 31. Okay, so um, like I said earlier, this is only going to select or search for the first occurrence, which means if I was to go back inside here and make this a space instead, save this and refresh, we see now only the first space right here gets replaced. These ones uh, are left untouched. Okay, so uh, that brings me to uh, the next part and that is regular expressions. Okay, so of course regular expressions allow you to define a pattern instead uh, for more detail in your search, but also they allow you to perform a global replacement, which means you can actually use regular expressions to replace multiple spaces right here instead of just the first one. Okay, so with that being said, let's go inside the text editor and have a look at a regular expression inside here. So let's remove the actual string and make it a regular expression instead. Inside here, let's search for uh, the first number. We can say backslash D then a plus. So like I said, it's going to search for here the first number, this being 25. Okay, so now I can say for example 22 as the replacement. Let's save this and refresh and we can see right here we get, hey, I'm 22 and she's 31. Okay, so I'm not going to get into detail of regular expressions. That deserves a whole different video, but as we can see, um, that is basically how it works. Now, what if you want to do a global replacement for also this number right here? To achieve that, we simply add the G flag, the global flag, to the end of the regular expression. So now saving this and refreshing, we get, hey, I'm 22 and she's 22, as we can see, multiple different replacements, okay? Now, when it gets a bit more advanced, that is when we are talking about accessing the regular expression match information within the replacement string. Okay, so with that being said, let's take this string right here, and we're gonna flip the numbers. We're going to say, hey, I'm 31 and she's 25, instead of, of course, 25 and 31. Okay, so to achieve that, uh, we're going to be using capture groups. Okay, so basically, we need to use a regular expression to separate 25, then this middle section, then this 31. So basically, a total of three capture groups. Okay, so inside here, we can define a capture group for the first number using parentheses. Then we can say inside here, as the second group, we can simply go inside here and we can say uh, square brackets, then pass through a caret, then we can do backslash D, then a plus. So this right here is going to select everything that is not a digit. So basically, everything inside here before the next number, okay, or digit, right? So now we can define the last capture group right here at the end. So now we have essentially selected everything that is right here and we've, we, uh, we have of course separated it into three separate groups, the first one here, the second one and the last one. Okay, so with that being said, we can access these groups by simply using dollar sign syntax. So we can say right here, dollar sign three, dollar sign two, and dollar sign one. 
So now, this 1, 2, 3 refers to the captured groups. So basically, this right here, the 25 is 1, the 2 is the middle section, it stays the same, and the 31 is the uh, number 3, of course, this one right here. So now, we're essentially flipping them around. Let's save this and refresh, and we get right here, hey, I'm 31 and she's 25. As we can see, the numbers have been swapped around. Okay, now you can use many different things inside here. So I showed you the dollar sign N pattern. Okay, um, you can of course use up here two dollar signs, dollar sign ampersand, and these different options to get different information. I'll leave a link to this right here in the description below. But an important one might be the dollar sign. So let's just say you actually want a dollar sign. Very straightforward. Just have two dollar signs right here, and it's going to cancel each other out. So now, saving this and refreshing, we get right here an actual dollar sign. Okay, now, let's move on to functions. Okay, so what we just saw was essentially uh, using a string to access our regular expression match information. We can actually use right here a function instead. Okay, so that being said, Let's define a function, okay? Inside here, we're going to simply say return and then pass through, let's just do um, decode. Okay, so basically the return value of your function is going to be the replacement. So if I was to save this and refresh, we can see we get, uh, we get right here, hey, I'm decode, okay? Now, of course, in this case, we've simply matched our string 25 and 31, etc., and replaced it with decode. Now, you can actually access the information as we did earlier inside the function. To achieve this, we can say console.log pass through here arguments, for example, and this will simply log out the arguments passed through to this function. Let's save this and refresh, and we can see right here we get all of these different arguments. In the first index, we have the actual matched substring. In this case, 25 and 31, the whole thing. Okay? The next one, or the next three, is our individual capture groups. We get 25, group 1, uh, this part here for group 2, and the last 31 for group number 3. We then have the index of the actual match, so 9, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 as the index of the match. Okay, and the last one here is just the entire string itself. Okay, so with that being said, let's go back inside here now. And in the function parameters, we can simply say right here, match for the first index right here. So 0, okay, then 1, 2, 3. So we can basically just say uh, uh, G1 g2 and then g3 for group 1, group 2 and group 3. Okay, so I want to add up 25 and 31. I want to say, hey, I am 25 plus 31. Okay, so let's go inside here. We can simply say return and I can say parse int. Okay, and I can say g1 plus parse int and then g3. Of course, g1 is the first group. 25, G3 refers to the last group, 31. So now, if I save this and refresh, we get right here, hey, I'm 56. Okay, so as we can see, this function allows for uh, different logic inside the replacement to, of course, let you do uh, greater things. Okay, so um, that right there is the string replace method inside JavaScript. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.